first Deadly Class, and now Krypton. Alright, Sci-Fi, you and me, we officially got beef now. But let's talk about it, here on Comic Universe. What up guys and welcome to the Mother Surf Must See Comic and Nerd Culture Show. Welcome to the Comic Universe. I'm Dr. J. I've got a PhD in Nerd Culture and I should know. I printed it out myself. What's up guys? Another day, another week, another topic. And this time, it's one that I am honestly very upset about. You see the hat? You see my shirt? We are here to talk about the most recent cancellation done by the Sci-Fi Network. As I said in the intro, they already canceled Deadly Class, a show that I absolutely loved when it came out. And now, and now, they canceled probably one of my favorite DC shows out in arguably its best season to date. After said show got a spinoff greenlit, and now that spinoff is being halted in production and shopped around elsewhere. Of course, we are talking about Krypton, and basically, why I believe DC Universe, or at least WB, with their upcoming HBO Max service, needs to save... Krypton and or the Lobo spin-off series because in my opinion Krypton is great so a lot of people myself included when Krypton was first pitched wrote it off as another like Gotham type show and I gave Gotham a chance you guys I'm a massive Batman fan I tried but Gotham was one of those shows that relied too heavily on references and just could not figure out what it was until it was too late. Now Krypton on the other hand, Krypton had the whole prequel thing and you know, as you guys know, you know, within nerd culture, prequels aren't necessarily the best thing. Prequels usually have that trapping of either like not really meaning anything because we already know what's gonna happen in the future or it's gonna tarnish the legacy of the established franchise I mean look at what happened to Star Wars and look at what happened to the Harry Potter franchise recently with the crimes of Grindelwald that is what a prequel can do in terms of damage to your property but what Krypton did was a very interesting route. So Krypton basically took all the cool parts from the beginning of Man of Steel with how Krypton was established and all the different technology and the like ranking cast system and different things like that. All the houses, they took like a Game of Thrones-esque spin on it and like made it like very sci-fi centric. And very early on, they quickly established that Krypton was set in an alternate timeline. Therefore, no need to really worry about like, contradicting or messing with any of the Superman mythos because this is clearly and succinctly stated as its own thing. So Krypton had the freedom to go nuts and the storylines they did were pretty awesome. I really enjoyed Seg L as a character. Superman's grandfather. He really showcased a lot of the aspects that we know and love from the House of L. And, you know, him as a hero was really interesting. And, you know, even though he didn't have the same powers as Clark, he still had that heart, that courage, and, you know, that need to make sure that his planet was safe and protected. And so he was a great hero. And the supporting cast was awesome as well. You know, Seg's grandfather, Val, played by Barristan Selmy himself, was fantastic. His love interest, Light Hazard, 
great. His other love interest, Nissa Vex, the mother of Jor El, was awesome. She was fantastic. And then we find out some awesome twists that really make Krypton interesting when we find out that Seg El is the father of Drew Zod, aka Mr. Neil before Zod himself, General Zod. That's right. General Zod is Superman's uncle in this timeline. How wild is that? And this version of Krypton gave us, in my opinion, definitively the best version of Brainiac we will ever see on the small screen. Like, that version of Brainiac was so intimidating, so cool looking, and just gave me the exact vibe jumping right from the page of a Superman book. Like, that was amazing. And we got to explore so many different sci-fi elements of the DC Universe that TV never really gets to explore because sci-fi is usually pretty high budget. And it's the other thing, Krypton had a really good budget. Like, obviously it wasn't like movie quality, it was still definitely a couple cheesy things here and there. But overall, for a TV show, it was great. Story was good, characters were awesome, and honestly, I am super invested in this story, so it broke my heart to find out that Krypton got cancelled after such an amazing season. I mean, they brought in Doomsday and did Doomsday better than BVS did, than the 03 Doomsday movie did. Maybe not better than the recent Death of Superman movie, but one of the best versions of Doomsday ever. Probably definitely the best that we've seen on the small screen at least. No offense to Sam Witwer in the Smallville version, but I personally hate that version of Doomsday. I know there are some people that like it, but not really my cup of tea. Season 8 of Smallville, in my opinion, is probably the one season of Smallville that I cannot watch through. But that's just my opinion. Overall, I really like Krypton, and honestly, it truly does sadden me that Krypton got cancelled. And I really, really hope that... You know, you guys will see this video and give Krypton a shot. You know, watch Krypton on the DC Universe app because it, it is there now. If you have the DC Universe app, go watch Krypton. Show DC that people are interested in this show. I'm going to go rewatch Krypton a couple times to give it more ratings. Do it. This is a call to action to anyone that wants good quality comic book and superhero TV. The only way we're gonna get people to respond is with our views. We need to show them that we want this. The reason Krypton got canceled is because sci-fi doesn't really know how to promote their shows. And so no one really knew about Krypton and that's why it got canceled. Because there were no ratings and the ratings plummeted. The first season they checked it out, the ratings were good because obviously people were checking it out because they were hearing about it when it first dropped. With season two, the marketing wasn't nearly as strong. So I definitely believe if we can all come together and show DC and Warner Brothers that Krypton is great and we want more Krypton, I know for sure I want crypt more Krypton, I know a lot of Superman fans who watched this show and were like, oh, this is really cool. I really like Krypton. Y'all want Krypton. I know a lot of people want that Lobo spinoff at the very least. So please, please. And I'm not afraid to beg here. Go watch Krypton. Let's show DC that even Superman's granddad needs saving sometimes. And so let's save the Grandpa of Steel here, okay? We need to save Krypton. This is one of my favorite shows, you guys. And I know you're used to me being all high energy and passionate, but I am being serious here. If I had heat vision, it'd be coming out right now because I 
am really heated about this cancellation. Like, bro, you don't understand. Krypton is one of my favorite shows to review. I loved covering it every single week. And it just... Oh, why? It was getting so good. We were about to get Parademons, dude. Parademons showed up at the end of season two. Are you kidding me? We're gonna... Mm, so much potential just, like, thrown in the space toilet and flushed. Oh, my God. Guys, seriously. One last time, universe... If you have access to the DC Universe app or the Sci-Fi app, go watch Krypton. It is great. You can come back here in the comments and tell me otherwise. Even if you don't like it, give it a shot. Like, I guarantee you, watch like half of the first season at the very least, or at least the first four episodes. And if you're not hooked by then, you're not hooked by then. But if you watch it, and you are interested in sci-fi, and you liked that beginning part of Man of Steel, where they showed Jor-El on Krypton and stuff like that, I think you will really enjoy it. And it's a show that I think definitely did not deserve the axe. So let's band together and try to save Krypton for Rao's sake. Let's do it. But that's been my little impassioned rant for this week's Topic Tuesday. Let me know what you guys think. Did any of you watch Krypton? Are you as saddened by this cancellation as I am? Let me know all your thoughts and feels in the comments down below. Also, don't forget to leave this video a like because the likes really do help. They help to spread the video all throughout the algorithm and share them with other DC fans much like yourselves. So be sure to do that. It really does help and I thank you for it. And also, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to join the universe today by hitting that subscribe button and notification bell so you get notified whenever myself, DPZ, or C-Dubs upload a new video. And we've got plenty of content for fans of all shapes, sizes, and fandoms. So be sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell. In the outro card, I will leave linked a video YouTube mysterious algorithm things you might like, which I hope you do. And I will leave linked one of our latest uploads in case you're new to the channel and want to see what we have to offer. But until next time, guys, this is Jay from Estate Reviews for the Comic Universe, and hopefully I'll see you guys next time in the universe. Up, up, and away. Peace.